bells are ringing. Now it's time to begin. It's about our school that we're singing. Where the misfits get in. Take a seat, yeah, we're dying to meet ya. Go with the spirit and chillin' the cheer it. Stormed up Bunker Hill, General Pittman turned to his Minutemen and uttered those immortal words. Get your hairy butt out of there, beast! Oops. No, Cleo, I believe he said don't fire until you see the whites of their eyes. Am I interrupting something? Only your stupid soap opera, man. Trudy and the beast. Cleo's in love with his hairy sissy. The beast is not a sissy. Is too, man. Whoa! Hey, man! Stop the world! I want to get off! No problem, little dude. Like, make a left to Ecuador. <laughs> I'm really hurt, Cleo. To think you'd rather watch some actor in bad makeup than me in an authentic Minuteman outfit? This outfit is you, darling, and I mean that from my heart. I'm sorry, Mr. Schneider, but you're wrong about Billy Headstone. He's a real monster actor. And a real hunk. I hear he's filthy rich, not to mention single. No money, so bourgeois. I still say Headstone's a sissy, man. Ah! That's enough, class. Hey, let me guess, Peach. You didn't know it was loaded, huh? I'm sorry, Cleo, but no soap operas during class. Aw, oh, Mr. Schneider. I don't have a VCR, and this is the only time Trudy and the Beast is on. Uh, may I make a suggestion, Mr. Schneider, sir? Perhaps if Cleo wrote to Mr. Headstone, he might be persuaded to move the show's time period. Forget it, man. A big star like that hairball headstone, he'll never answer a letter from Cleo. Zip your lip, Paddlehead. I've got a letter to write. <laughs> hey, man. Five minutes, Mr. Headstone. My word, Melrose. I don't recall ever receiving a fan letter on papyrus. Well, not since we did As the Tomb Turns in Egypt, sir. Oh, she's piercing me to the quick with her simple words. And to think such a gentle heart beats in the soul of a monster girl. It may be beyond my grasp to change the show's time slot for her, but I can at least write back to this girl, this sweet bird of youth who calls herself Cleo. For her, I must sacrifice a lock of fur. Melrose! As you wish, Mr. Headstone. Oh, I've finally got a piece of the beast. It's like a dream come true. I've got to get to my sweetheart. Darling! Oh, no, it's... it's me, Dozer! Cleo! 
all snap out of it. Ooh, gross me out. Is Reggie shedding again? No, it's Billy Headstones. Ooh, a hank of honk. That's not all. He sent me an autographed picture, too. And he wants a picture of me. He does? Hmm. Well, better make sure it's a good one. Gee, Billy, a good picture? Oh, I'm not sure I have one. Oh, excuse me. Ah! Hey, you forgot your pictures. Oh, well. Come on now, Cleo, think pretty. No fair, I wasn't ready. This is my good side. Or is it this one? Oh, I'm so nervous. I need to unwind a little. No, that's too much. Believe it. I look awful. My life is over. Again. Come on now. This one has that Cleo cover girl look. No, my wrapping is way too loose. I give up, Cleo. I've seen every picture and they all seem fine to me. I need to find one just right for Billy Headstone. I'm sure you'll find the perfect picture. Uh-oh. I think I'd better go down and give Headmistress Crone a hand with the flag. Maybe my yearbook picture's better. Oh, I look awful here, too. <gasps> but Deucer sure looks great. Even her snakes are smiling. Billy will never know. Class, that's the late bell. Sounds to me like the late Crawford. Hey, rest in pieces, kitty. Very entertaining, Sid. And speaking of entertainment, how would you all like to take a fun field trip? Great! The swamp. The tar pits. The wax museum. Oh, yeah. No, no, and no. I just got some free passes to Midtown Amusement Park. Oh. Bummer, dude. Hey, yo, a human amusement park? I think I'll pass on that pass. Well, will it, like, be more fun than the alligator rides at the Gravedale Carnival? You bet, Gil. What about you, Cleo? You in? In? Uh, sure. But can I run out and mail this letter? What? You know who? Sure, Cleo. But hurry back. Oh, love letters. I could just die. Don't be redundant, Blanche. Hmm. On second thought, could you please send that air mail? Cleo's got a boyfriend. Cleo's got a boyfriend. My dear Cleo, what beauty you bestow. I must meet her someday. Shall I send another lock of fur, sir? Somehow fur isn't good enough anymore. Do we not wrap early today, Melrose? Indeed we do, sir. Splendid. Then we shall pay a visit to my charming monster pen pal. Melrose, take a telegram. Telegram for a bit. Could you hope? Batra! Hey, telegram dude. Her locker's over there. Thanks. Hey, watch where you're going, man. Yikes! Hey, yo, can't a guy take a bat nap around here? Are you looking for me? <laughs> it's from Billy! He's coming to see me! He's coming to see... Oh, no. No, he's not. I sent him Doozer's picture. Oh, what am I gonna do? Into the bus, 
parks, kids? Don't you just love amusement parks, Boneyard? I enjoy a good deep show, Schneider. Hey, aren't we missing Cleo and Doozer? Uh, Lieutenant Palumbo here. Uh, now, about these missing monsters, you mind if I take a look around? Why don't you just take a seat, Lieutenant? I'll go look for the girls. So you sent him my picture, huh? Smart move. Then you'll do it? You'll pretend to be me? Yeah, sure. I guess I can bag the field trip to go out with this hairy Adonis. <laughs> Remember, look, but don't touch. Got it? So there you are. Come on, girls, you're holding up progress. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Schneider. I don't feel very well. I'm not going. You're not? Gee, I'm sorry to hear that. Is there anything I can do? Nah, I'll be just fine. With dudes are here to look after me. Well, if you're sure you're all right, feel better. Don't just stand there, Doozer. Billy Headstone could be here any second. And I've got to teach you how to be me. Cleo, get a life. Gently to the grave. Merrily, 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 merrily. Say goodbye and wave. You weren't singing merrily, Schneider. Sorry to be such a party pooper, Boneyard. I was just thinking about Cleo and Doozer. There's something fishy going on. Sorry, teacher, dude. Just having a snap. Hey, look, man. Isn't that Cleo's hairy heart drop? My word, it is the beast. So that's what's going on. Boneyard, stop the bus. I'll meet you at the amusement park later. You take care of the kids. Who's going to take care of me? Hey, you got it? I'm a Scorpio. My favorite dead poet is Poe. I like long walks in the graveyard and... And here he comes! Now get lost! Ooh! A hunk, a hunk of burning hunk! You must be. Yes, you are. Cleo! Ooh! Anything you say! Tall, dark, and hairy. My, you're strong. Ooh! I'll pull her snakes out one by one! Ooh, P.U. Smells like a skunk died in these bushes. Oh, what are you doing here, Mr. Tutner? Just out for a stroll in the breath of fresh air. Phew, it used to be fresh air. Cleo, may I be so bold as to ask you to accompany me in a quiet stroll through the cemetery? Now that's corny. Ever heard of the Dead End Club? Well, no. Great! You're gonna love it! And get rid of that muddy rag. Oh, I can't let that snake in the grass out of my sight! Oh, kids today are so frisky. And so are the cats. He loses more lives that way. What's the damage? An old charge! Gee, that was sure nice of him. Cleo! Doozer! Anyone home? Cleo, what have you done? I'll tell you what she's done. She went bumper skiing behind some big limo. What about Doozer? <laughs> was she with her? Not exactly. She was in the limo, hugging on this hairy beast and yelling about some dead-end club. Is anything wrong? Just a little case of mistaken identity. You 
on in now, pal. Back in the line with the rest of the twerps. <laughs> Too much or what? Look, it's the beast. Hey, I watch all the time on TV. Welcome to the dead end club, beast. I'm his date. Don't listen to her. I'm his real date. That's what they all say. Back in the line, sis. But that's where you want to go, bro. <laughs> And now, Spuds, get out there and do the forbidden dance, the lobotomy! Oh, the lobotomy is my specialty! Cleo, you're not at all like your letters! I know! Isn't it great? Oh, that doozer! Escape this dreaded cacophony! Me too! Let's head ahead, Stone. I know the perfect place to go. Dozer, stop! You're not going anywhere without me! Hey, there she is! Let's 86 that rag, hey! Hey, let me go! Like I said before, sis, to the back of the line! Mr. Schneider, what are you doing here? Tell you as soon as I start breathing again. There's only one thing to do, Cleo. You've got to tell Billy Headstone the truth. You're right, Mr. Schneider. The truth has got to be easier than what I've been going through. Look at those funny costumes, and it's not even Halloween. Remember, kids, stay together. Oh, look at that ride. Whoa. I tried, Schneider. I tried. Hey, think I'll check this ride out. Hey, girls, this ride any good? Ooh, sounds cool to me. And last call for the submarine ride. Hey, sorry, you're late. Yeah! Looks refreshing, dude. Think I'll join you. Wow, they've really improved this ride. Oh, JP, this charming ride looks just like my home sweet home. Ah! Sounds like it, too. Please keep your arm inside the car. No way, man! This is the best part! Ah! 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 Cleo? What are we doing at an amusement park? It's fun! Besides, my friends are here and I'll get a chance to show you up! Look! There they go! Oh, you are correct, Mr. Schneider, sir. This place is a blast! Yeah! yeah right. This is great! Oh, it's wonderful! You all feeling better, Cleo? Ask me after I strangle a few snakes! That's a matter of opinion. Cleo, I believe it's time to end this masquerade. Don't be a drag, Headstone. I'm having...
too good a time. Doozer, I want to call this whole thing off. It's too late, Cleo. Headstone's mine. Doozer, maybe we should do it. It's getting kind of crowded in here. Doozer, we need to talk. Not now, Schneider. I'm on a heavy day. Thought she might say that. Now for plan B. Get Doozer! Hey, what's the big idea? It's now or never, Cleo. Wish me luck. Ooh. Bees! Are you all right? Perchance. Do I know you? No, but you ought to. I'm the real Cleo. Oh, it's such a beautiful night, Bees. Indeed. I just loathe the fact that I wasted most of it with an imposter. The real Cleo is one of a kind. Oh, they're so right for each other. Yeah, they're both boring. Come on, kid. Let them have a little privacy. Gee, they are a cute couple, though, aren't they? But before I depart, I want from the bottom of my heart to give you something to remember me by. Thank you, Melrose. What's this? Why, it's a videotape recorder, Cleo. Now you need never miss Trudy and the Beast. Oh, Beast. And now, my dear, I must bid you adieu. Hey, kids, one of your favorite rap groups has a new show on NBC. So get ready to rap with Kid and Play. Coming up next, only on NBC.